So I'm replacing my Asus RT12 uh, router that's running DDWRT. Um, it's a custom firmware with this new Linksys E900 or wireless N300 router. And this is uh, uh, Cisco and Linksys is a new product line that came out this year, 2012. And this is the bottom of the line entry, about $60 at Staples, otherwise it's $40 at Walmart or Amazon.com. And the inside, just opened it, haven't taken anything out yet. Uh, that's a very understated and nice looking router, very, very light. Uh, feels like pretty much hollow plastic with nothing inside. It's about the size of my hand. And I have about medium hands. It's not a lot, well, maybe large hands. So if you have large hands, it's going to fit right into your the palm of your hand. Comes up with a setup CD, and we'll go through the steps so you can see what to expect. Although I'm assuming I could just input. 192.168. something, and a cable. So let's go through the setup. Uh, it did come with a power supply, very, very tiny, very slim, and I'm gonna hide these serial numbers. But it has a reset button on the back, and it's ventilated from the bottom. Alright, so let's take a look at the software. Gotta click through the licensing agreement. Go ahead and pretend we read that. So it says connect the power. Okay, and I just plugged in the power and connected it to my modem. And it has these status lights, if I could focus, that blink on the back green status light. Otherwise, there are no lights anywhere else. I like it. I don't need flashing lights lighting up my whole study. Okay, and then once I plugged everything into my uh, modem, between, between my router and my modem, and click next, it starts searching for the network. Alright, and it took all of about 10 seconds for it to find my router that I just plugged in and it gives me a default router name or wireless name which for some reason it chose Emerald Flamingo and gave me a really convoluted password so I'll go ahead and change this alright it's about ready to finish up the process one very nice thing for people who have uh, never really hooked up a wireless network is that during the setup process it automatically connected me to the proper wireless network and this is actually running Windows 7 it just looks like Windows XP um, and I'm already online I'm not hooked straight into the router so this is over the wireless card so it, it did it all for me which is very nice so it'll go through an update process uh, it'll probably download the latest firmware Alright, and let's finish the update. It took about a minute and a half. It was real quick. Uh, again, there's nothing really happening on the router's end. The router's not hot either. It still feels normal. And now we're presented with options. Uh, connect computer and devices or edit the router settings through the Cisco Connect software. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hide uh, some of the details here because it clearly shows your password. Uh, but it allows you to turn your port lights off on your router and go through and get another setup key, register your router, Let's see what advanced options gives you. Alright, so we are in our router settings. 
when we clicked on Avast, it launched uh, my default browser. Uh, shows me I'm running firmware version 1.0.01, .01, and it actually gives you a lot of options. Turning off UPnP, giving you logs. Um, it also gives you port forwarding, uh, firewall, quality of service, pretty much everything you need. Okay, uh, the only setting I don't see because it gives you DDNS settings and pretty much all the settings you actually need. The only setting I don't see is to turn off B or G. It's, it's going to give you mixed mode no matter what. I don't see a way to limit it to just a wireless 802.11n network. Go ahead and begin the test. So I am sitting about three feet away from my router right now. And we're getting 29 megabits per second down. It should it should be less than a megabit per second up, no matter what. My upload st speed is horrendous, so that shouldn't change as long as we have connection. But I'll go ahead and move about 40 feet away, and redo this test so we can get some real world speeds. Megabits per second, which is fantastic compared to the ASUS running DDWRT at pretty much its optimized settings because. With the ASUS, I was getting it about 3 megabits per second when I was, uh, when I was this far away.